All right. After a rather sudden jump, we find ourselves back in Santa Monica. Back in the hospital, in fact. Here at the blood bank. We are here at the blood bank because of this. If I can click on it. Aha! Thin blood. You have located Lily's journal. Her last entry mentions a plan of hers to break into the local blood bank. Remember, Lily? Way back in the beginning of the game, we met a bunch of thin bloods, including one by the name of E, a rather love-struck fellow, who was searching for his lost sire, who is, of course, our Lily. Lily, desperate for blood, as uh, thin bloods have been run off of every decent patch of hunting in the city, tried to break into the local blood bank and disappeared. Uh, pretty much uh, one short guess what happened to her. So, we are going to find her and bring her back. Uh, the reason why I saved this quest for so late in the game, she'll become apparent shortly. Let's get backstage, shall we? Need a fix? I need to get into the back room. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. It's okay. The queen bitch gave me her okay. Go ahead, call her. She did, huh? Queen bitch told me never to let anyone back there. I remember her repeating it over and over in that cold, pretentious voice of hers. Uh, for those just tuning in, queen bitch is in fact a vampire named, um, Therese Vorman. Uh, she's a one of the Malkavian sisters who rules the city. A vandal is her ghoul. So, are you gonna let me in or what? Go ahead. Call her. Mmm. Opened. Don't worry. I won't make too much of a mess. Alright. Bing! And we're backstage. What's backstage? Well, the typical things you'd find in the back of a hospital. We've got various rooms. We've got offices with fellows in the offices. Um, let's talk to this fellows. Who are you? What are you doing back here? If you don't know, you shouldn't be asking. Oh, you here for the special sauce? <laughs> the password is Grubus. What do you think? Okay, stupid question, Phil. She's in the freezer. Today's code is... Hank, Phil, it's, uh, moon landing, uh, 1969. 1969, got it. Well, that was handy. It's nice that so many stupid people are in such important positions, huh? Well, let's see if there's anything else we can loot back here. We've got, uh, ooh, a computer. Freezers. A password is required. Uh, yeah. 1969? No, password failed. Let's whip out our hackity. Ambrosia. Huh. I'm surprised and amazed our hacking was acceptable. Okay. Well, let's check out temperature. Temperature. Huh. One freezer is vastly uh, less cold than the others. That's interesting. And we don't need the passcode. Uh, Phil was handy enough to give it to us already. So we'll just quit out. But that's another way to get the code if, uh, you know, Phil wasn't handy. Do do do. And we'll just casually lock Heather in. That's interesting. Anything in there? Well, as we have been taught repeatedly in time again, anytime you see a break in a wall, it's a good idea to go through it. So let's go through it. Chunk, 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 chunk. Okay. 
I don't actually know what good that does for us. It looks like we could go up into the hospital proper from here. Yeah, that looks like the morgue. Master? Behind me! So we don't really need to go in there. So let's go back through the hole. But that's another way to get into the hospital or to get into certain areas. Hmm. Lockwood. Well, I'm sure we'll find a way in there. Let's see. Uh, freezer 3 was it that had the issue. Well, since they aren't numbered, apparently. Aha! A code panel. Just one moment. I'm saving the game, again, for reasons which will become apparent shortly. Let's get these boxes out of the way, because who needs boxes? And password. 1969. Katong! And a secret door opens. What could be back here? Well, bloodstains, apparently. And another secret door. And, hey, there's somebody in these horrible, horrible medical chairs. Let's go talk to her. Please, save me. Who are you? My name is Lily. Aha, we have found our Lily. Lily, do you know a thin blood named E? have to get out of here. All right. Now, remember this? We have picked up a nifty little goodie called the Animus Constupro, or something along those lines, that allows us to enslave the minds of anyone who drinks from it. Lily here is a vampire, well, sort of, a thin blood, and she has been drained of her blood for some time. She is very, very thirsty. Let's introduce her to our, to our uh, nasty little enslaving gimmick, shall we? I can see why he likes you. Say, you look thirsty. Want to sip of my special blood? I... Drink from this. You are in no position to argue. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. Of course I'll let you go. And for some bizarre reason, you don't look well at all. Phil turns British and dead. And oh my god, what happened to us? Why well, hello Lily. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? Basically, vampires deprived of blood drop into a state called frenzy where they do everything they possibly can to sink their fangs into something warm and living. Uh, they'll tear through friends, family, lovers, just to get blood. She was in this state, and, well, you saw what happened. What just happened? It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. Of course you aren't. I mean, aside from the fangs and the bloodlust and the killing people. Why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? Frenzy again. Uh, the companion mod plays it as a uh, trick of the animus con stupro, but it's frenzy. To think anyone could be so compassionless, so heartless. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. I may be heartless, but you're now my pet and you love your mistress. Now, tell me what you really think of me. There's a something of a uh, mind control component going on in the companion mod. We'll roll with it. Oh, I'll never forget this night. I'm so glad we're together. 
And what do you think about me playing with your mind? Don't let me stop you from going in. That's more like it. Now follow me, my pet. Junk. The astute among you might have noticed that I only had one girl following me. Heather, of course. Well, this is why. So we can recruit Lily into our merry band. Let's take a look at her, shall we? Now that she's up and around. She's, uh, your typical beach girl. Uh, looks like she works out. Hello, Heather. Looks like she works out. She's got the, uh, t-shirt, the uh, tank top t-shirt, the jeans. So, yeah, definitely surfer folk. Or Sire. All right. Well, let's possess her and see what she looks like on the inside. Bzomp. And now we are Lily. Here she is from behind. And here is her character sheet. Now, Lily is not a powerful vampire by any stretch of the imagination. Her top skills are unarmed because, well, she looks pretty buff. She can probably beat hell out of anybody she, you know, doesn't like. But the important thing to note here, as a thin blood, she has very few vampiric powers. In fact, she only has one discipline, presence, to our three disciplines. We have presence, dominate, and fortitude. Uh, it looks like she is a thin blood of the, uh, of the, uh, Toreador line. Uh, the artists, the emotional, close to humanity vampires. I would estimate that, in a general sense, uh, she's 14th generation, just at the edge of true vampiredom, uh, 14 steps away from the founder of the vampire lines. Her offspring, her fledgling, E, would be 15th generation, even less of a vampire than Lily is. Quite frankly, she's not much of a vampire. So that's what she looks like. Dunk. And we'll jump back into our own body as soon as we can target ourselves. Oh good, our giraffe neck has gone away. That was a hideous, horrible thing. And it seems to always happen during that cutscene. I don't know why, but it mangles characters. Quite frankly, it's amazingly impressive. Slurp. And now we're back into ourselves. Well, that's taking Lily for our merry little band. But if we do this, we can't give her back to E, and we can't finish that quest. Also, she's not really very useful. So let's step back in time and do things a little... Whoops. Ah! Ah! Sire. Get out of the way to pull you out of the wall. Okay, there we go. And now, as I was saying... Uh, let's step back in time a bit and do things differently, shall we? 